Hey everyone, QBKing77 here with my HTC Evo 4G. Here to do a video showing you how to uh, root um, and S off your HTC Evo 4G on the latest Android 2.3.3. Um, so this is going to be using the revolutionary S off and recovery tool. Uh, this is going to give you S off. It's going to root your phone and install Clockwork Mod all in one. So um, you'll once you're done with this, you can go ahead and start flashing ROMs, themes, kernels, etc. I'll be doing videos showing you how to do that as well, so um, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Um, but anyways, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to Revo Revolutionary S Software Recovery Tool. All I want you to do here is uh, download the Fastboot Drivers. Windows users, please download and install Fastboot Drivers. So click that. It's going to download your Fastboot Drivers. It's going to look like this, HTC Driver. Double click on it, hit yes. And then it's just going to install drivers for your phone. Um, some errors, if you do have HTC Sync installed, uh, disable it. And then if it still doesn't work with it, if the root method doesn't work with it disabled, then uninstall it. Um, I have it installed already, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit repair, I guess. Hit next, should install. Run through the installer. Also, if you do have errors, you can turn off your antivirus when running this, um, and it should... Uh, it should work. But anyways, I believe the drivers are done installing just like that. Um, and then click on the other link in the description or you can click on this right here, revolutionary.io. It's going to take you to the uh, unrevoked and alpha rev revolutionary website. Um, but anyways, go ahead and scroll down and then right here you see downloads. Download for Linux, download for Windows. I have Windows so I'm going to download for Windows. Um, it's going to download right down here right away. And then right here, you're going to need to fill this out uh, for beta key, um, your operating system, Windows, your uh, H your device, um, HCC Evo 4G, and HBoot version. Go ahead and to check this, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and power off your phone. And then once this powers down, I'm actually going to have you guys pull the battery out. So go ahead and take the back off and pull your battery out. And then uh, I want you guys to look at your, um, I'm going to cover these up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But you got your serial number right down there. The bottom one, it says S-N. Copy down your serial number. Just write it down on a piece of paper or something. Um, you're going to need that uh, pretty soon. But anyways, once you have that, copy down your serial number. Go ahead and put your battery back in and then Press and hold the volume down and power button at the same time. That's going to take you into the bootloader. And um, as you can see up at the top, it gives you uh, HBoot version. My HBoot version is 6.16.1002. Uh, disregard that since I kind of already have S off right now. So just disregard what my HBoot version says. but. Yours is either going to say 2.15.0001 or 2.16.0001. So whatever one that says, just select it right up here. Whatever your HBoot version says. So select that HBoot version. And then type in your serial number that I had you guys get. So type that in. It'll gener generate a beta key for you. Once it generates that beta key, down, I mean, copy down that beta key as well. So once you have all that, I have all mine copied down already, I've already followed this. Um, once you have that, you can go ahead and go into this. Um, it's got a bunch of files right here. I'm going to go ahead and... As you can see, I made a folder called Revolutionary right here. Um, with the, I have all those files in there. I'm gonna, you're going to need WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip. Just go ahead and hit Extract to. And then I'm going to go to that revolutionary folder that I put on my uh, desktop and hit OK. And it's going to extract all those files into that folder. So if I open that folder, as you can see, all those files are in there. So I'm going to go to revolutionary.exe. It says uh, waiting for device. Um, go ahead and obviously you're going to need to reboot your phone. So go to fast boot and then go to reboot. So that will reboot your device. All right, now that my phone has powered back on, I'm going to have you guys turn on USB debugging. Hit Menu, Settings, go to Applications, right there, and then click on Development. 
and then check USB debugging up at the top. Have that checked, hit OK. And once USB debugging is checked, go ahead and just go back. And now I'm going to have you, as you can see, it still says waiting for device. Go ahead and plug in your phone into your computer. So plug it on in like so. Should plug in, you can just hit charge only, hit done. Up at the top it says waiting for device, found your device, yada yada yada, supersonic which is the Evo. It says your device is already S off, um, that's because I've already done this process. So just follow the steps that it says, I believe it'll say just press any key to continue or something, it'll say uh, going through root process or something like that. And then once that's done, it says, do you want to download and flash clockwork mod recovery? After it's done pushing root and S off to your device, it says, do you want to download this? Just hit Y, like so, and then hit enter. What that's going to do is download the recovery for your phone, um, that clockwork mod recovery, and then it's going to put that onto your phone. It says rebooting. It should reboot your... Uh, your Evo, which it is doing. As you can see, it reboots to the bootloader, to fast boot. Flashing recovery, it says successful, and um, then it just exits. So that would mean that it's all done. Um, as you can see, I have bootloader reboot. Uh, reboot bootloader and power down go ahead and just click on bootloader right there and hit the power button and as you can see you have a fast boot recovery you have a recovery option in uh, the boot i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this it's getting kind of hard but anyways now you can see you have a fast boot and a recovery option just hit the volume down button and go to recovery should boot you into clockwork mod recovery All right, and there you go. As you can see, revolutionary uh, clockwork mod version 4.0.1.4. So you now have S off, you're rooted, and you have clockwork mod as well. I also want to add um, back to this link, the Re revolutionary S off and recovery tool. Scroll down. If your phone doesn't have super user when you reboot in your app drawer, go ahead and click on this zip file right here. It'll download it and then put it on your SD card. Uh, it's called SU 2.3.6.3 signed at zip. Just transfer that over to your SD card. Once it's on your SD card, um, you're going to need to go into uh, Clockwork and then just hit install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card and then go to wherever you put SU 2.3.6.3 right there. Click on it and then hit yes, install it. And then what that's going to do is that's going to give you super user on your phone. So it'll allow you to use apps that require root access. All right, and as you can see, it says install from SD card complete. Uh, just go ahead and hit the back button and then hit reboot system now. Right up at the top, power button select. It says rebooting right there. It's going to reboot your phone, and once it reboots, you should have super user in your app drawer then. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it real quick. And I'm going to go to my app drawer. And as you can see, super user is right there. So now I have super user, I have clockwork mod, and S off. So I'm good to go. So there you go. Go ahead and flash ROMs, kernels, themes. I'll be doing videos as well to show you how to do that. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me for future how-to videos as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video.